this video we're going to take a look at spacing between paragraphs in Word 2016 and this is also something that has not changed in Word for quite a while so it should apply to other versions as well uh, let's take a look at our Alice in Wonderland document here and um, I'll drag the mouse over the first paragraph here and what you'll notice is there's a little more gray above than there is below and I'm going to do the same thing with second paragraph here and you see the same thing a little more gray above than there is down below and um, so the spacing between paragraphs can either be attached to the top paragraph or it can be attached to the bottom paragraph or another way of saying that is it can be attached to uh, before a paragraph as in this case uh, we've got some extra spacing or the space after is down here so um, how do you do that um, there's a couple of ways to do it in Word. Uh, I'm going to actually select three paragraphs here, okay? And we are going to go to the paragraph uh, group, and we're going to go to the dialog box launcher in here and click on it. And this is where we control in the spacing group down here. This is where we control the space before and after. And you'll see that there is no extra space after but there's an extra six points before. And you know that kind of corresponds to the fact that on the bottom of these paragraphs here, there's not very much space, just enough for a, a letter that has a tail down below the line um, to appear. But on the lines at the beginning of each paragraph, here and here and here, there's a little extra gray. And it turns out that that extra gray is six points. A point is 1 of an inch. So we're talking about six seventy seconds of an inch or one twelfth of an inch added space before. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to increase that. Let's increase that to twelve, and then let's increase it to. It goes in increments of eight, but you can go in here and type in any number that you want. And then I'm going to click OK. Okay. Now what I changed was the space before. So if you look at these three paragraphs here, uh, this first paragraph now has quite a bit of extra space here. It's got eighteen points of extra space. So does this one. But look at the space down below. There's there's not much space down below. Uh, that did not change. Okay. Now we're going to do something else here. We're going to go up and we're going to change the space after to 18 points as well. So I need three clicks on here. Click on OK. Now watch these uh, the space between the first paragraph and the second paragraph and the second paragraph and the third paragraph when I click on OK, and nothing happened. Okay. Uh, down here though. Uh, this did increase, and unfortunately, I kind of scrolled a little too far, so you couldn't see the increase. But uh, there's an increase now. This used to be zero points after, now it's 18 points after. So you know everything from about here down to here got added on. Now this paragraph has 18 points before and 18 points after. This paragraph has 18 before and 18 after. Uh, so you know you think there'd be 18 points after this one and 18 points above this one is 36 points. It doesn't work that way. Um, it assumes that if you want 18 points before this one, you say you want 18 points after this one, that you will get that you want 18 points in between paragraphs, not 36 points. So if you have two numbers here, uh, let's go in and try something else. Let's say we've got before of 18 and after of 12. Okay. Well, the largest of those is 18, so we're still going to keep before of 18. Uh, but this after down here is, actually let's make that 6 instead of uh, 18 or 12, so we can really notice the difference. So I'm going to decrease after to 6 points, okay? And now watch what happens when I click on OK. This is going to get reduced to 6 because that is larger than the 0 points that we've got in front of this one down here. These are not going to change because uh, I still have 18 points before. So click on OK. And no change here, no change here. And if we go to the first one, you see there's 18 points before that. So all three of these paragraphs have 18 points before. You know, if you look over here, you can see that all the gray, or almost all the gray, belongs to uh, the space above a paragraph rather than the space below a paragraph. So that's really the way that you should do your spacing between paragraphs. Uh, if you're on a paragraph here and you hit the enter key and you start typing some more stuff so I'll just type a little bit of junk there and then if I select that uh, the paragraph formatting continues as long as you continue to hit the enter key so you set it once and we get to the end of the paragraph hit enter and it will just keep on formatting every paragraph exactly the same all of the paragraph formatting commands carry over 
to the next paragraph whenever you hit the enter key. And I'm going to delete this because that's just junk. And I'm going to go up here and turn on the show hide button so I can see where I press the enter key. And this method of putting space between paragraphs is much preferable to just hitting the enter key and putting a blank line in there. Okay. Uh, if you decide that you want to change the spacing between paragraphs, you can select everything in your document. You can go up here and you can go to your dialog box and change the spacing before and after. You don't have to go through and, you know, change or get rid of these extra paragraph marks that you've got here because you hit the enter key to put your space between paragraphs. So use the before and after. Don't use the enter key to put extra spaces in. Uh, there is one other way to do this. Uh, you may find this easier. If you go to your layout tab here, uh, the layout tab actually has these two boxes visible uh, because they're paragraph formatting commands you know they're also on the home tab here in the paragraph group but they're not visible in the box you have to go to the dialog box launcher to find those two boxes so uh, you might find it preferable to go to the layout tab here and choose your before and after and remember these are paragraph formatting commands so everything applies to the entire paragraph if you're in part of a paragraph, it's it, you know it's all or none. If you have part of the paragraph selected, you will apply that formatting command to that paragraph. Okay, so that's pretty much a summary of how line spacing between paragraphs works in Word 2016.